how to avoid making your life harder than what it has to be, right? Now, living on this planet, there's inevitable things you're going to have to deal with, right? You're going to already have your problems built in, right? So the problems that I'm talking about, the mistakes that I'm talking about are the ones you can't control, right? So I'm going to, I got four points here I want to hit. You guys, you guys go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, should it be like video, like the video. It's going to be a good video. So point number one, I need to hit, right? And this is going to be, I would say, the majority of the source of your problems, right? If I had to base a percentage on each one of these points. Select good people, right? Now, when you're a young person, you're going to go through the issue of not learning how to vet people properly, what people are good for you, what people are bad for you, right? But eventually you're gonna have to snap out of it and see people for what they are, right? So how does these people selecting bad people ruin your life, right? Well, if you look, choose a bad partner or relationship, whatever it is, right? They're gonna mess your life up. They're gonna put you in all these goofy situations. They're gonna emotionally kill you or destroy you, right? Manipulation, all these different tactics, right? Bad friends, same thing. Toxic relationships are going to kill your dreams and goals, kill your aspirations, um, make you do certain stuff that's below who you really are, whether it be drugs or whatever it is, right? Um, selecting bad people it's probably one of the worst things or probably one of the main issues that you're having right now in your own life, right? If you look around all the problems that you've dealt with throughout your life, it wasn't because of somebody you was connected to, right? See, in my, especially in my life, very little times have I gotten in trouble just doing my own thing, not listening to people and all that stuff, right? Soon as I entangle too many friends, as soon as I entangle too many people, right, in the mix, shit starts to go bad, right? So that's point number one. Select good people, right? And they're going to make your life easier, make your life happier, healthier. You're going to accomplish more. They're not going to make your life a headache, right? Point number two, <clears throat> know and or observe your environment, right? Now, what are you talking about this? What are you talking about? So I got a couple examples, right? So I was watching this video of this woman, right? And she was talking about coworkers are not your friends, right? And that's a really, 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 really golden nugget it has a that video has a million views right so y'all can click on that video but watch that video after this one um but very very good point right because the job is the job right the reason why people are at that job is because is because they're trying to make a living they're trying to make a career right if that if there wasn't any opportunity to advance their career or to make money, to make a living, to pay for bills, they would not be there. So do not mistake those people for being your best friends, right? Just to get that promotion, they will throw you under the bus, right? Also, this pertains to social intelligence, right? Like I said, knowing your environment. If you're in a country club, don't show up in no damn Timberland boots, right? show up in country attire right because people are going to judge you and you're going to get a bad experience right just simply off of how your appearance is right if you need to be wear a suit in an environment where a lot of people are wearing suits wear a suit don't be that oddball out conform to the environment that you're in it, right now when you're out doing your own thing or you go to the movies you can wear what the hell you want to wear right 
know your environment and know how the people act within that environment, right? Because you're going to make your life harder if you don't adhere to the social intelligence of the environment. Like I said, job is job. Don't mix it with friends, right? I'm not saying that you shouldn't talk to people and, and shouldn't shoot the fat. Yeah, you should shoot the fat, but don't overshare your personal life, right? Because people will use that against you. <clears throat> Point number three, <clears throat> know yourself and be true to that person. Oh my God. You know how many times I've been shamed out of doing the wrong thing or doing the right thing. There's so many situations I could look back on my life individually. And I've told you guys over and over again, right? There were certain things that I got the intuition or the, the inkling to do. That when I told other people about it, they shamed me for making that decision, right? And looking back on it, if I would have made that decision earlier or made that decision at all, I'd be way more, I'd be way further than what I am right now, right? So you have to know who you are, right? Sit down alone. What style do you like? Like where you want your life to go? What? hobbies do you like doing what things are you naturally good at how do you want your appearance to be all these situations how you want to be perceived by the world all these are the questions you have to answer whenever you know yourself but once you know yourself you got to stick true to who that person is right because the world is going to shame you out of doing that right and see a person that knows their self, it's not going to mess up their decision making because they know where they're headed, right? See, if you're not clear in your identity, the shaming is going to work most times, right? So know yourself and be true to that person, right? You might be in the country music. Don't go to no damn hip hop bar and you don't like no rap or trap music at all, right? Just because your friends want to go over there, but you like country music, you just stick with the country music, right? Be true to who you are. Make the decisions that are good for your life and good for you. Because nobody's going to live life for you, right? And finally, the last point on how to avoid to make your life harder, it's just money, money management, simple stuff, right? Now, as simple as it may be, it's very hard to do, right? In principle and discipline, it's very easy. The concept of it is easy to understand, right? Needs before wants, right? Take care of your bills, your car payment, apartment, whatever it is, house, mortgage, um, insurance. Right? Take care of those bills first before you go buy some new Jordans, before you go to a concert or something, right? Because... I forgot how this quote, but it'd be it'd be fit beautifully at this point, right? It goes something like people buy what they want and beg for what they need. One of the realest statements I've ever heard when it comes to money management, right? Right? I'm not gonna get too far into that. Not a financial advisor, <clears throat> not financial advice, right? Just the point that you should look into and it's very important, right? Because if you don't know how to manage money, you're, the, you're gonna stress yourself and the people out around you, right? A lot. The reason why divorces, the reason why relationships don't work most times is because one or two of those people in that relationship don't know how to manage money. Right, resources are always a problem to accumulate. But that's my video. You guys comment below what you guys think about this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video, and I'll be back with another one. We out.